Once upon a time, Greece enjoyed power and splendor. The Acropolis, the height of ancient civilization, built in marble 2,500 years ago, when Greece was rich. Nowadays, Greece faces paralysis, strikes and despair. People voicing their bitter disappointment, cursing the state and the politicians who have caused the crisis. If someone tries to stop our strike, we'll bring the whole country to a standstill. Going on strike won't do much good. Greece has to save money, make pension cuts, fire civil servants and stop expensive subsidies. Greece has lived beyond its means, is bankrupt and needs billions of euros in aid from its EU partners. Berlin has dragged its heels when it comes to helping the Greeks out. But now things have to move quickly. Chancellor Angela Merkel is working on a rescue package together with the head of the International Monetary Fund. The stability of the entire Eurozone is at stake. We will not shirk our responsibility. But the precondition is that Greece accepts an exacting program which will enable the restoration of market confidence in Greece. We agree that this market confidence in Greece is the best and most important thing that can be achieved now. Germany will play its part in guaranteeing the stability of the euro as a whole, but Greece has to play its part as well. The German government wants to help its euro partner Greece. But many Germans are opposed to the idea. The Greeks should sort out their own affairs. They've been living like kings, and we Germans helped them by going there on holiday. They thought they were the greatest. They should sort themselves out. And now Spain's on the brink, as well as Portugal and Ireland, and they always expect us Germans to pay. Even if 90% of Germans are against it, it doesn't mean they're against Greece. I have a lot of sympathy for the Greek people, but the European Union is taking the wrong direction. The German parliament is set to decide quickly on the package. The government is under pressure. That benefits the opposition, even if they do vote in favor of the rescue program. Just look at the statements made by the CSU and the FDP. The FDP is acting as if it had nothing to do with this issue as a member of the coalition. That's unacceptable, and any head of government would be roundly criticized for that. We've never seen such a bunch of clowns, and that during a really serious currency crisis. The Chancellor played down the danger. She took a tough stance that Germany did not want to pay. Berlin is expected to shoulder a large part of the EU rescue package. But why did she wait so long? I think there are two reasons. The first is that she was playing for more time, and the second is that there was no agreement within the government. The finance minister is interested in pushing through what he decided with the other European finance ministers. The chancellor and the other coalition partners, the foreign minister and deputy chancellor, have an eye on the upcoming elections in Germany and the domestic side of things. In Deutschland anstehen und sehen deshalb eher die innenpolitische Komponente. So, is the euro in danger? And what happens if other EU countries need help? And what will Greece cost in the end? I hope that after the first transfer of 45 billion euros, which is due soon, that we're very, very careful, and that the next time we should look very carefully at whether we want to pay again. People are talking about 80 billion or even 120 billion euros, and that would be very expensive for Germany, even if we're only talking about guarantees or sureties. But the other option of simply letting the lights go out in Greece is something no one is prepared to accept, whatever the cost.